let's graph the lawn or natural logarithm of x plus one. Now in pencil, I'm gonna do just ln x. Ln x has a vertical asymptote here at x equals zero, because you can't take the ln of zero, but you can take the ln of any number that is positive. Now, if you take the ln of 2.71 or e, you are supposed to get one. So that point there is 2.71828, whatever the constant e is, comma one. And ln x has an x-intercept here at positive one. So that's one comma zero. Now that curve, again, has a vertical asymptote here, needs to cut through that point and flattens pretty quickly. If you've seen uh, log graphs, it's gonna look kind of like that. But this graph is x plus one. This is a horizontal translation one to the left, which means the vertical asymptote is here at negative one instead. It is one unit to the left of where it was. The x-intercept of one has transitioned to zero because zero plus one is what gives you one to take the ln of, and you get zero out of that. E, or 2.718, gets shifted over one to 1.718. If you really wanna label that, it's E minus one. <laughs> and it's still up at one unit high. So it's the same shape of curve here, approaching the vertical asymptote, has to go through this x-intercept, which happens to be the origin now, and then cuts over and flattens pretty quickly. Now it doesn't ever actually go totally flat. This goes up and to the right forever. It just, you need to go further to the right to go the same amount up each time you iterate. Anyways, this is that graph. Again, your vertical asymptote is x equals negative one. You have a point at zero, zero, and another point at 1.71 or e minus one, comma one. Cool. There's your graph. Hope it made sense. Best of luck.